Hello everyone, Bridget with Altenu. I'm here to walk you through layering for the Dynamic Duo Watercolor Dreams Stencil and Stamp Set. In this set, you will receive a two-piece 6x6 six six simple coloring and layering stencil, a 3x4 stamp set with detail images to add to your stenciling, outline images, and sentiments. For an additional purchase, you can get the add-on die set to cut the florals, leaves, and sentiments. We're going to have a closer look at the layering guide that comes with your set. On the inside, you will see in the bottom left all of the ink colors used to create the images shown, and they're shown in the openings of the stencils as well. You'll also see when the stamp set has been used to finish the image. Down at the bottom, you'll see they start with a stamp set, then use the stencil to complete the image shown. On the right, you'll see all the ink colors used to create the image shown there, as well as any additional supplies. We're going to get started by putting stencil 1, section A1, into our stencil and using buttercream ink with a small blending tool. We'll get that blended, lift that up, and we will go ahead on stencil 1, we are going to align a2 and get that blended with mango smoothie and a small blending tool. Staying on stencil one, we'll move to A3. For this layer, we're going to use honey drizzle again with a small blending tool. And for A4, we'll use mangrove root, which is going to be the flower center. We're going to blend that in with this mini blending tool. We'll begin on stencil 2B1, and we're going to start with sun-kissed and a small blending tool. Feel free to mask off areas if you're worried you will go over the outlined area that you're currently blending. Stencil 2B2, we'll be using orange cream for the second layer of this beautiful, beautiful floral. And I did go a little bit over, but the good thing is we have the dies. So on stencil two on B3, we'll be using Autumn Blaze. And again, I am using satin masking tape just to help hold my stencil in the stamp wheel since not much of it is showing. And then we'll use B4 with Mangrove Root. And I'm showing you how to align that up. There is an outline on the stencil to help you, but I wanted to show you that little bump on the flower as well. So now we're going to start for the leaves, C1, D1, E1. We go ahead and we stamp the outline first. We will also be stamping A5 and B5, which are the flower centers. I use jet black ink since I was stamping continuously, but obsidian will give you a beautiful look as well. Now that we've stamped the flower centers, our flowers are complete. We will go ahead for C2 two on stencil one, D2 on stencil two, and E2 on stencil two, and we will blend in the centers of our leaves. And with that, we've completed our images. Up next is some amazing inspiration from our fabulous designers. To find out more about Dynamic Duo, Watercolor Dreams, and other available products, please visit us at altenew.com. Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Altenew YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.